Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So, last time, we were trying to get into Nellis Air Force Base over there. But these fuckers keep shooting us with mortars. So, we're gonna try and see how this works. Because they said if you take the train, then you're kind of protected. So, we'll see what we can do. What? I was hiding under a rock. How would they even hit me? See, this happens a lot during this entire thing. Um, so what we did last time is basically get drugged up. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do again this time, I think. So Turbo, I think, actually slows down time, so I'm able to kind of just run for it like crazy. Do we have any drugs that give me AP back? I don't know. Jet gives me plus 15 AP, but I don't think it restores it. Um, is that like an extra 15? Yeah. I don't think that heals me, does it? Oh, come on. I really need to get more AP right now. Uh, what if I turbo again? And jet again. You have become addicted to a drug. Take more of the drug to alleviate the side effects or visit a doctor to be cured. Yes, now we're all like blurred vision because everything's crazy. Took too much jet. And the turbo actually, um... I hear they stopped shooting. They said stick to the gates. Well, there's a gate over there. Okay. Aha! Did we make it? I think we did. Yes, we did. Oh, it all it took was getting addicted to drugs. <laughs> Requires a key. No! All right. They said stick to the gates, so we're going to stick to the gates. Oh, my goodness. Maybe we can befriend them so they can stop shooting me. That would be nice. Is that a Brotherhood of Steel? Guys! Hello? Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I got drugged up. <laughs> I want to talk to who's in charge. I'm not telling you a thing, Savage. Savage? Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. You guys are the Savage. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Let's hope so. Please lead the way. Follow close, and mind your behavior. <laughs> you guys are all in, like, superpower armor with missiles and shit, so... You're more likely to kill yourselves if you try to Hello. attack me. Hi, guys. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Well, it would probably be easier if you stopped bombarding the place, because then people would actually visit. So you were expecting me? Like a prophecy or something? Prophecy? Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? A little bit. I just hope to savage. Oh, outsider, sorry would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. Okay. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little, too. Uh, so what can I do to help? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev- uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. All right. And how exactly can we trust each other if you're going to keep secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. 
But I think we need to let it in just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Thank you. Um, so what, where do we start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Yeah, so does that mean you'll stop shooting me? Hi, Boomer. You guys are intense looking. Whew. Oh, Boomer left. Okay. Well, we can try and befriend the Boomers, right? Okay, so... I guess that's everything. Let's, uh, let's head out over here and see if we can help the doctor, because that's certainly the immediate thing I know how to do, is use the healing skills to help people out. Um, yeah. Oh boy, lots of things here. So let's take a look. What kind of quest did we get here? Help the boomers around Nellis. Does it show us on the map? Yes, it does. So let's go over here. Is it this guy? Hey. Hi. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on oh, you. Oh, that's a relief. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. I'm not. So you have a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can see what I'll do. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Oh, one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. <gasps> one of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. <laughs> Are you Just fucking don't kidding hit me? the artillery shells. Oh my god. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. I think I will, because that sounds hilarious and really bad. <laughs> okay, exploding ants. Wonderful. Wonderful. What would we ever do? Alright, next. Are you a person that I can talk to? Boomer. Saw you coming a mile away. Yeah, I'm sure you did. You're another boomer. You don't seem to be. My lawyer. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. <laughs> you guys have cool outfits. I'm actually looking to be uh, of use. Um, do you have any weapons that could help the giant ants? I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. So what can I do for you? Oh, science. Let's just do that one, because we know it, apparently. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. That was weird. That's always weird when, like, the character knows something you don't, and then you're able to kind of talk about it. It's it, it's kind of immersion breaking because it's like here's these things that I know but they anyways um, so I think we have to go in here as well for the museum uh, I guess so I mean I'm kind of curious about these guys they have cool outfits and stuff you wait what hello 
Hi, Peach. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Sure, absolutely. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, why not? Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> oh, I have to follow him. Okay, sorry, I was distracted. I was, my mind's been on other things. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I just saw that snow I'm globe. I'm <laughs> listen to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. You guys are kind of insane. Um very bent on destruction and hurting people. I'm not too fond of that. So, yeah. And uh, let's talk to him again. Now that you know the story of our people. Uh, let's see. Is there anything you need help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. It's all good. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can find that doctor. <clears throat> I believe Loyo is building the emitter, so I got that emitter, which is all good. Uh, maybe I need to talk to him again, but it's fine. Now, where's the um, where's the medical bay? There's something over there that I didn't do. I'm just I just want to find the medical person. Uh, I'm a little just there is the medical station. Uh, there we go. Doctor? Hi. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider, but I have patients to tend to. I could help you with that. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I have very high medical training, yes. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Okay, so you want me to help these guys? Sounds good. This man appears to be severely injured, swelling around his face and neck, and is interfering with his breathing. Are you sure you want to treat him? 60 medicine or higher is required. What is my medicine at? I think it's 100, isn't it? Skills. Medicine? No, where is it? I, I'm going blind right now. 70. Let's treat him. After carefully considering the patient treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having a strong allergic reaction. Like by cleaning all wounds of ant venom and administering steroid compounds, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. You guys have really nice shotguns. Injured boomer. This man looks like he has serious infections. Improper treatment will kill him. Would you like to treat him? Yes, I would. With a combination of natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfectants, you are able to clean the wound and help with the boost the patient's immune system enough that he'll survive. That was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. Probably, and let's hope this guy 50 minutes and I can do that. This man's leg is seriously injured. It may require amputation to save him. Are you sure you want to attempt the operation? Yes. Upon further examination, after cleaning the leg, you realize that it can be saved. 
You carefully remove the existing stitches, clean the wound thoroughly, and restitch the wounds closed with a much more precise procedure. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. You hadn't thought of making better stitches? Well, if you don't know how to make better stitches, then yes. Yes, outsider? I did your thing. Um, I finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. And, uh, can you treat me? I'm addicted to Jet. I'm afraid medications are in short supply. Maybe you should seek medical treatment away from Nellis. Fine. Fine, then. Can I use this to cure my... Nope. Alright. Um, so that's done with. Now we should go fight the, uh, the ants. This should be interesting. Although I do want to see what that uh, Sonic thing is about. So let's see here. Sonic. Where is it? I thought I had it. Oh no, it's not a weapon like that you wield. It's a weapon that you use later against the ants. Like, you put it against their nest here. Okay. Um, what's over here then? Oh, a bunch of kids. Hi. Mini Boomer? Oh, that sounds horrible. There's one called Lindsay though. Hi, Lindsay. Hey there, lady. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Sure. Who's Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him. And I don't remember where. Uh, sure, I'll go look for him. Thanks. Let me know when you find him. It's, it's very unspecific about where to find him. Just go find this thing. I don't know where it is. Well, that helps. Lindsay, one of the boomer kids, lost her teddy bear. She isn't sure where she lost him. What if I just give her, like, a random teddy bear? Because all the teddy bears in this game look the same, so... <laughs> uh, maybe I should go in the barracks and find him there. I'm not going to look for her teddy yet. I'm more interested in the generator room and the ants that explode. This is going to end really badly. Well, Eddie's a bunch of laser stuff, so maybe I can tell Eddie to go melee. Ooh, there's a Mr. Handy. Hello, Mr. Handy. How's it going? Another glorious day in this man's army. Yes, it's a military Mr. Handy, actually. And there's the artillery guns. It's a big place. Or are you... You're a Red Quail. Okay, Red Quail. okay. So that's that. Now I guess we're gonna go head towards the, um... The generator room. Which apparently is in a hangar or something. I don't know. We'll find out. It says this Hydra is supposed to repair limb condition, but it didn't do anything. And I wonder if, like, where's the one that removes... Temporary addiction removal fixer, sure. But what if we, um... <laughs> what if we get addicted to everything? And what if we get super addicted to Jet? Ah, whatever. We'll deal with it as it comes. I do need to go and detoxify, though. There's the, there's... Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Well, where's your, um... Where's your generator room? Really? No time to talk? What is it, outsider? I'm looking for my... If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Thank you. Okay, that's where... I did pass through a place near, uh, called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Okay, sounds good. I'll be back. Um, I guess we're having to go all the way back to Helios 1, then. <clears throat> That's quite a ways. Well, at least we can fast travel now. And he also told me where the array was, which is what I was looking for. Um, where the ants were. Alright, now that we're at, um, Helios 1, it looks like we can actually scavenge parts off of these panels. But I don't know if they really... I feel like that's gonna end badly, like the... 
uh, like the Helios one, people won't be too happy with me. Uh, sorry if I sound sniffly. Anytime there's a tiny little load screen, I just... Maybe that guy Fantastic wasn't an idiot. Wait, where's... Maybe he was a genius. Where's the rest of my dudes? Uh-oh. Where's my guys? I don't like this. Oh wait, maybe there's that panel on the floor. Yeah, I was saying, anytime I have just the slightest... Reflector panel on the erasing's damage, you could salvage it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I was saying, anytime I have, like, just a tiny bit of time to myself, in between the load screens where nothing's happening, I just start bawling, crying my face off. It's pretty rough. Oof. Where's Eddie and Boone? I don't know. I'm looking for more arrays here. They're on the ground. There's the other one. Oh, I feel like throwing up and crying so much. <laughs> I know, that makes for a lovely, lovely show. And this is something I would probably be better to talk about during a live stream, but like I said, I don't think I can do a live stream right now because I'm just crying all the time. Breakups are hard. What? Why is there... Is it the dogs? Cocksucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's right. This guy's mods... Complete. This guy's mods, um... Swears a lot. What's going on? Why isn't the guy attacking the dogs? I wonder if I can, like, huck a grenade above the fence and hit them. Aha! Oh, it crippled it. Didn't kill it, though. Oh, I got a lot of XP for that. 112? What? Oh, maybe that killed them, actually. There's, like, one more. Where is it? Sorry, I'm distracted. Too many emotions, and it makes my stomach feel really wheezy. And I think we have to kill that dog if we want to fast travel. Now nah, we'll be fine. Alright, there's the last salvage. Let's head back to Nellis. Now that we've got that, because I'm really interested in fighting the ants. You can't fast travel when there are enemies nearby. Well, we'll take care of them then. Here's my shotgun. You can't see a damn. What do you mean? Be smart. Not a goddamn thing. Die. There. I'm glad we didn't take it apart and it was just salvage that we could find, so that's all good. I'm happy about that. Alright, here we go. Back at Nellis. We can fix these solar panels here with the salvage panels we had. Oh, we could have do done it with spare parts. I'll just use the solar arrays because it's easier. Array efficiency approved by 50%. Okay. I wonder if what happens if we use spare parts, but it's probably better to use the arrays here. Um, although, what's our repair at, anyways? Probably not 65. No, it's 51. And I don't think we even have any spare parts, so it's probably. I like using this better. That was the last one. Last one, or is there more? I feel like there's one more that's broken, except I can't tell which one it is. There we go. Oh, I'm so sniffly. Yay! Alright. Now let's see if we can't take care of those ants. Did she give us the, um, the key to the door? Because I know we need a key for it. And Eddie and, and the people were back. Yeah, see, there we go. There's, uh, there's Eddie and Boone. My buddies. So then I'm not alone. There we go. We can actually get in there. Okay, this is going to be interesting. 
They're explosive ants. Alright. I really want to throw a grenade and see what happens. Or like a Molotov cocktail, it should be really Kill funny. I'm gonna let my companions do the shooting for now because they're very accurate, or more accurate than I am. So far there's not that many, but we haven't opened the main doors yet. How bright is it? Can we actually see anything? Not really. Is there anything so far? No. Oh, well we can kind of take their stuff then. I hear them skittering around, but I can't see them yet. Oh, we need lead. We, oh no, what do we need? It's not lead, is it? Yeah, I think we do need lead to make ammo. We need so much of it though, which is kind of ridiculous. I hear them, but I don't see them. All mine. They'll take care of it. Hopefully they won't die. And I'll just loot all this ammo. Ooh, missiles. I have to- oh, and a mini nuke. We haven't found a fat man yet. We haven't really used one either. So those 25mm grenades are apparently for an automatic grenade launcher, which sounds pretty intense. There we go. Sorry, I'm so sniffly because it's just... I was basically running my face off by crying so much. Oh yeah, we already took that one. Uh, oh, more rounds. Anything else? No, and we're backed into a corner, which is probably good. Because we want to stay away from Eat the ants. This. What was that, Eddie? I don't even know where it shot. So it says there's a lot of them, like I said, but I haven't seen any yet. My spotter perk is not... So where are we supposed to go? Let me just open up the map here. Because, um... Kill the ants in the generator room, restart it, and place the thing. So apparently there's one right over here. Maybe. Oh, okay. Wow. Alright. Stay the hell away from there. I have a feeling my companions are going to die. Maybe I should have told them to stay. Maybe I'll tell Eddie, Eddie to stay, actually. Oh, excuse me. I really don't want to be sniffly. Maybe I should just stop. No? Okay. Was that, was that an ounce to kill? Oh, it was. Okay. I'm curious what's up here. See if we're sneaking, I, my guess is we can get the drop on them so that we can not make them explode. Oh, I hear one. It's probably right around the corner. You know what, Eddie? Um, how about you use melee? for this because you're going to just make them explode. All mine. He is a beast. Dead boomer, 40 mm grenade, boomer cap. Grenade launcher, which I have, and we don't need a sledgehammer. There's something weird about him though. Hold on. Grenade launcher. What was his? I thought I took it. What what did I do with my grenade launcher? I'm confused. Oh, maybe I didn't have one. Don't he? Oh, you no, can try with- Make the merc. Oh, he's a companion too. Alright. Well, I guess I have three companions now, and he's also really overpowered, so... <laughs> That's nice. There's another dead boomer. Ah, sure, let's grab those frag grenades. Why not? That's probably the exit to somewhere, as the sign indicates. Yep. 
which we don't need to do right now. I wonder where it ends up, though, because it says it's on the top. Which is interesting to me. <coughs> oh, are we thirsty? How's our thirst? Ah, a little bit. Might as well just grab a drink then. Water. I'm a little um, paranoid that we're going to run out of water at some point. But uh, so far we're okay. Those are shells. Don't shoot the shells, he said. Although I'm, I'm, I doubt that my bullets can pierce those shells. No. Yeah. That took a couple of shots, but hey. Whatever works. Now there's another one right below me, it sounds like. <gasps> yeah. Don't fall onto it. Got it. <laughs> Uh, this is my stupid... I should have... Oh, I kind of want to throw a grenade now and see what happens. And then I can probably shoot that one. Oh god, I almost fell off again. Oh, I missed the other one. Oh, there's a few more down there. I like this. This is a good vantage point. All right. Any more? Sounds like there is. They're all at the bottom. <clears throat> there was not that many. I was expecting like an army of ants. This is nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Nope. <clears throat> Is this where we came from? No, this is just a dead end. <clears throat> I'm just hoping to find something really cool, but it seems like we're not. Alright. Oh god. I thought we killed that. Maybe they wander around, so... Okay, that actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Weird, I thought we killed those ones. Hmm. Are they like respawning? Oh, is it because there's like a nest and they keep coming? I guess so. Anyways, we're out of ammo for that. Was that our cardboard repeater? I thought we had tons of ammo for it. Oh no, that's another thing. This is the cardboard repeater. That was the Ferguson rifle we had. Yeah, there we go. So let's see, where are we going? Basically across the other way. That's what happens when you shoot the shells. Got it. <laughs> oh, Boone. Why would you do this? At least now I know there's one. There we go. Don't shoot the shells. <laughs> oh, wonderful. That looks like the nest. <clears throat> oh, my throat is all scratchy because of... <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> My throat is super scratchy from crying so much. It's just broken. So it says there's stuff up there. But how do we get up there? We were just up there. Hmm. Ew. Uh, is this where we put the thing? So I would think that's like a generator there. Nope. Right now we're kind of just doing clearing the ants out. So now I'm not afraid to even like nudge the uh, <laughs> nudge anything. Okay, let's just turn on our lights. Can't run from me.
Is that gonna make them all come? <coughs> Cause that's a pretty bad horror scenario right there. Oh, don't shoot that. Eat this! Alright, that's one done. Next should be over here. He's got an awesome gun. I think it's an assault rifle of sorts. Right, Bradley? Yes, it is. A tactical assault rifle. It says there's a few up there, but I don't know what. Oh my. Oh. Can't there we go. run from me. There's that sonic emitter. Eat shit it. And die. And we have to activate it. Eat this. Oh, but there's one more thing up there. What is that for? Maybe we have to start generator number two, right? It's over here. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Oh, up there. Maybe it's telling us to leave over there, maybe. Alright, well, well, we'll humor it. We'll come up here. And that's the main power switch. That's what I was looking for. Yay! Alright, there we go. That all worked out in the end. We did it. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't a lot of ants. I was expecting, like, a whole just slew of them. Just tons and tons of them, but it really wasn't that bad. So now we have to go tell her we did took care of her ant problem and also tell uh, the other guy as well. So that's a little bit far away. I'm trying to remember where that is. Oh yeah, that's quite a ways. That's further than my map can actually see, so <laughs> I guess we're booking it for a while. Raquel, we took care of your bug problem. We had a fun time in there. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? That's correct. Maybe Pearl is right about you, because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Yay, thank you. Okay. And there is also this one. Tell Loyal the array has been repaired. So let's go do that. Sorry, no time to talk, Outsider. Really? You don't want to hear about how I fixed the thing? Hello, Outsider. Need something? Yeah, I fixed your, um... I fixed your solar array. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Do you have a VR code for me? I'm kind of interested about no, this. No, those aren't for outsiders. Okay, sounds good. I'm actually... I'm actually interested. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. I did. We dream to one day rule the skies. All right, I'm gonna get Bye. going now. Take care. I'm idolized by the boomers, yay. But apparently there's still stuff we have to do for them. So, we will probably do that at another time. Because it's been long enough. So, thank you all very much for watching and being patient with me because I Oh, we can return to Pearl. You know what? We'll return to Pearl tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for being patient with me. Because I'm not in the best mood and state right now. I'm kind of just very distraught. So I'm going to go and uh, go to my doctor's appointment later today. Try and do some things that make me feel okay. Go to work and distract myself. That kind of thing. I'll probably keep crying, though, for quite a while. <laughs> because I'm stupid and put myself in those situations. Oh well. I'll see you in the next episode. It's going to be such a bummer. <laughs> and we'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.